the hell? <clears throat> yeah, that's better. Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today, we've got a bottle of Brewmaster Cherry Pilsner by the Niagara Teaching College brewery type thing. Just see that right now before I forget. I don't want to forget. So I'm just going to try to do that right off the bat from now on. Bottle cap, 5.5% alcohol. Pilsner. If it's that delicious multi style of Pilsner with cherry flavor added, it's going to be good. I'm excited. Let's crack her open. And. Let's see what we've got. That's a good shot. Yay for me. Not sure it's gonna have any kind of cherry color to it. Doesn't seem to really. Let's give you a bit of an aggressive pour, get a bit of a decent head on there for the picture. Come on! I believe in you. That's not terrible. Now we'll do the picture. She is crystal clear, aside from the little bit of chill haze on the glass. And I want to say there's maybe the slightest red kind of hue overall in the beer. I'm not sure it's really coming through in the camera. It's got a very kind of typical bready, biscuity, I guess you'd say, Pilsner aroma. And then a hiding in that aroma, there is a bit of cherry presence. It's stealthy. It's like ninja cherries. But they're there. I can detect the ninja. Give this a shot. Ooh. That's unusual. The cherry flavor mixed with everything else, almost for a second there, it almost has like a almost like a pumpkin spice flavor going on. Which I like, but a little weird. The finish is uh, not great. I can't really describe the flavors I'm getting in the, the lingering kind of aspects of the profile. Not terrible. Well, we'll, it's one of the, we'll, we'll drink it all. And we'll see what we think after that point. Yeah, that made sense. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. And wasn't said before, but without Albino Rhino bringing me to this college, I would not have been to there and got this beer. So cheers to the Albino Rhino. It's really weird. There's like that amazing, like that the, the spice kind of, pumpkin spice, Christmas spice, whatever the hell you want to call it. It's there, and then it almost instantly shifts to more of an unusual flavor. That I, I can't describe it. I don't know what it is. It's not bad. It's... It's just, just a little unusual. Like I, I probably said it like five times already now, and I've only been recording for like five minutes. One time per minute? It's acceptable. As soon as you swallow it, there's that really enticing flavor, and then they right there. It just changes to, it's a flavor I've had before in my mouth. But I can't put my tongue on the particular taste bud that knows what the flavor might be. It's really kind of frustrating. But you know, life will go on, hopefully. Pretty sure that like my having a beer and not knowing what the flavors are 
is not going to end the world. That had some sediment in it. Wow. Not sure if it's really coming through the camera there, but it's going to in a second. That is definitely no longer clear, and you can see there is now a small snowstorm going on inside my glass. I want to say I've never had that experience with a Pilsner in my life. I'm going to set that over there and settle for a second. Niagara grown Mont. Mont. Montmorency? Montmorency? I'm not sure how to pronounce that word. Cherries create a unique union between fruit and beer in this tart treat. It's not even the smallest, the slightest, tiny bit tart. There's nothing tart about that. Beautiful pink tones and a distinctive fruity aroma make our cherry pilsner pleasing to every sense, adding a fresh and light balance, unlike traditional pilsners. Beer and education, a pairing that has been fermenting for generations. No ingredients and no date. The date is my own fault. It was purchased at the brewery. I should have asked because I almost think that this might be a little not so fresh. The sediment, the lack of tartness. Like there's nothing tart about that. What the hell? A piece of the label on my hand. It's not tart. It's got that finishing flavor. It's like I'm getting it now. It's. I want to say it almost tastes a bit skunky. And I'm pretty sure this wasn't a cheap bottle of beer either. So Niagara Teaching College, if you're selling bottles of beer, 5.5% with fruit adjuncts in them, and you're letting them sit around for months and months, then um, that's just not cool. You're supposed to be the teaching college brewery kind of place where you're teaching people how to how to give other people the most enjoyment they can get from their beer. This isn't working for me. And I've been recording for nine minutes. This isn't happening <laughs> on camera. There's no chance. There's that. Again, for a split second, the flavor profile is amazing. But even then, there's no, it's not tart. There's nothing tart going on in this beer. There really isn't any cherry. Whoop, that could have sucked. Any actual cherry flavor coming through at any point in the overall flavor profile. And it makes me kind of pissed off. So now I'm going to take a break and it's going to take a while to get through this stuff. I'll be back with my, my final form of rage at this beer in a second. I am really not impressed with this beer. Like I said, I'm, I, I think it's not fresh. I don't, that's just kind of the overall impression I'm getting from the taste. I took almost an hour, I think, to drink that. So, drink number the last. Oh, Christ sakes. I'm not a fan. What is it? What the hell is a brewery? ncteachingbrewery.ca Check out their website if you feel like it. And untapped, we got a 3.41 out of 5, 651 ratings. Beer Advocate, 3.75, 2 ratings. So I feel like it could be good, but this one really, in my opinion, kind of wasn't. Niagara Teaching College Brewery type thing. Whatever the hell you're actually called. Your Brewmaster Cherry Pilsner. Rating. It's like a six, maybe. I might have given it like a seven if you had some semblance of ingredients on there. Might be a 6.5. The date is my fault. Ingredients is your fault. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't like it a whole lot. So, uh... I guess. That's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then please give me a little thumbs up action. And, you know, then feel free to share with your friends. 
Spread me around like some kind of horrifying disease that nobody wants. Like infect the planet with me. Yeah, good times. If you want to see more of my videos, then subscribe. And be sure to hit that bell thing, notification icon bullshit, so that if I go live with a game or something like that, and you want to watch that, you can know about it. It's just the way it works. And if you got something to say to me, comment code box down below. Thanks again, and I'll be back with another video vlog tomorrow. Peace out! Not sure if the microphone's picking up right now, but uh, I would do anything for love by Meatloaf is playing on the radio downstairs. He won't do that. No, he won't do that. I won't do anything for love. Anything you've been dreaming of. Yeah, that's enough of that. Peace out.